Welcome to lovepinnacle.com. Visit our blog for more great relationship tips. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more great love and relationship tips. In the sprawling landscape of digital romance, how does gender mold our encounters on dating apps? We're investigating a domain that has revolutionized the way we connect, love and communicate. This digital sphere teeming with an array of dating applications is now a fundamental element of contemporary dating culture. At its nucleus lies the concept of gender. Much like a skillful potter, it shapes our experiences and interactions distinctively. Reflect on the gender inequality that prevails on these platforms. A multitude of studies and polls reveal that men considerably outnumber women on dating apps. This discrepancy alters the platform's ecosystem, regulating interactions and experiences. It's akin to a theatre stage where the principal performers, the users, are dominantly male. This unequal distribution sparks diverse behaviours and communication styles among its users. To bolster our claims, recent studies have drawn illuminating statistics that highlight the uneven landscape. On average, women on popular dating apps receive around 100 messages a day, while men receive a mere 10. This numerical representation underscores the drastic imbalance that permeates these digital platforms. Now let's shed light on a case study. Jane, a female user, finds herself inundated with an assortment of messages from would-be suitors on a daily basis, forcing her into the role of gatekeeper. She must sift through hundreds of messages to discover the ones that hint at a meaningful connection. On the other side, we have John, a male user, who, despite sending out numerous messages every day, often finds his inbox filled with silence. He awaits a response with patience, embodying the notion that persistence is key in this digital dating landscape. This stark difference in their experiences drives various strategies among genders to stand out and establish connections. Men like John may feel the need to be more proactive or assertive, crafting unique conversation starters, or delivering an engaging opening line to grab attention. Conversely, women like Jane, overwhelmed with and a cornucopia of choices, may resort to stringent responding only to those who have managed to distinguish themselves from the crowd or meet specific standards. This unbalance manifests itself in distinctive ways, reworking the dynamics and scripting a unique narrative of modern dating. It alters how we converse, forge relationships and traverse the emotional labyrinth. It influences how each gender communicates and forms. For women, the inbox on a dating app can often feel overwhelming. Inundated with messages, they must sift through countless advances, some unwanted or even aggressive, to find genuine connections. On the flip side, men face their own set of challenges. Amid a sea of competing messages, standing out can be a daunting task. The pressure to capture a woman's attention often leads to inventive approaches or persistent messaging. But beyond communication, there are other, less pleasant realities to contend with. Ghosting and manipulation, for instance. Ghosting, the act of abruptly ending communication, can be a disconcerting experience. Women often face ghosting when they turn down advances, while men may encounter it when a promising connection suddenly goes silent. Manipulation, too, is an unfortunate reality on dating apps. Whether it's breadcrumbing, gaslighting or misleading profile information, both men and women can fall prey to these tactics. To navigate these challenges, it's crucial to remain vigilant and prioritize open communication. However, despite these obstacles, dating apps can lead to meaningful connections when approached thoughtfully. Empathy and understanding can level the playing field, acknowledging the unique challenges faced by each gender. Open communication, expressing needs, boundaries and intentions clearly, can foster a culture of respect and honesty. As we discussed, Ender significantly influences the dating app experience. From the initial communication to handling ghosting and manipulation, men and women navigate this digital landscape differently. But with empathy, understanding and open communication, these challenges can be overcome, leading to genuine connections. Remember, love may be a complex journey, but with the right approach, it can lead to a destination worth the effort. Let's now shift our focus to the longevity of relationships that originated from dating apps. Studies have shown varied results. Some suggest that these relationships tend to last longer, attributing this to the compatibility algorithms that match people based on shared interests and values. 
However, other research points out that the ease of meeting new people on dating apps could potentially lead to shorter relationships, as individuals might be tempted to keep exploring their options. It's important to remember that these are just trends and averages. The longevity of a relationship ultimately depends on the individuals involved and their commitment to each other. In conclusion, while dating apps can provide the spark, it's up to the people to keep the flame alive. So, whether you met your partner on an app or in a more traditional way, it's the effort, communication and commitment that truly matters in the end. Remember to like, share, subscribe and join us at lovepinnacle.com for more great relationship articles and tips.